Hey, I'm doing another randomizer. I do these all the time now. I figured I may as well show off my music pack this time. I spent quite a few hours customizing all this, getting the loops just the way I want and all that. Um, this is just Final Fantasy music and... Like, I love the way it came out. Just the fact that you can customize so much of the music is so great. I guess this song's a bit soft. I can work on that. So I've rather optimized my route through the game. I mainly did it so I can get good at uh, Metroid Link to the Past randomizer, but I found out this is more enjoyable than that. Um, okay, back off please. Bro, no, back off. Back off please. Thank you. Uh, we got I actually need a weapon I can I can attack with to do some of Hyrule Castle. Oh. And my friend mentioned that I can get magic there, which is very nice. Don't have anything I can attack with, so I'm getting out of here. I'm very unlikely to get anything useful in that jump, but I can teleport over to the sanctuary. And get this chest. You, you might not like the rules that the open world get, gives you, but I find that's better than the alternative. If you include the introduction, then they force you to have a weapon that you can attack with at the beginning of the game, which I guess might be enjoyable to some people. I just don't think it's as fun as doing this route. The nice thing about this game's randomizer in particular is that you, you can get a lot of items at the beginning of the game and a lot of items at the end of the game. Um, so you, you're pretty much forced to deal with a certain selection of items throughout most of the game. Sometimes that item might be uh, the silver arrows. Ooh. Nice early find. The item is nice because it opens up the tra traversal from Dark World in in into, into Light World, which isn't a huge deal. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, but mostly, it's convenient to have that to get back to the beginning of the dungeon. And if you don't have that, you, you can't utilize a couple of shortcuts, and it's a mess. The mail, of course, isn't necessary, but very nice to have. Um, a lot of the most damaging attacks in the game actually don't get reduced that much. Like you saw that that guy still did plenty of damage against me. And lots of things that, that do one heart of damage still does one heart of damage. So it doesn't dramatically increase your survivability or anything. But if something is going to hit you for a lot of damage, it'll hit you for less damage, and that's very nice. Like, I think the crabs aren't as big of a deal anymore. Damn it. I don't have bombs yet. Uh, I usually hope by now that I get some bombs. Lamp, very nice. There's a lot of early game things that you can get with a lamp. I should have got those pots. I have to remember to go back there once I have bombs. <sighs> nah, no, I'll probably get something here. There's a lot of 20 rupees and a lot of 300 rupees that you can get in chest around. The 20s are more consistent, but the 300s. Okay, I can traverse the dark world now. <laughs> the one ruby. 
Which are always good. There we go, got some money. Uh, a lot happened there. Uh, yeah, the, the one rupee. You've got to have the one rupee and the one arrow in any randomizer you do. Still no bombs, right? Oh, the lamp, yeah. There's a lot that's... That's hidden behind dark room, so ha having the lamp opens things up. Like, mainly just the fact that I can get through the first dungeon and the Hyrule Castle sewers is very good. Of course, I still need a weapon, so I don't have that. <laughs> I guess that counts as a weapon. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to go all the way back once I get bombs. Get all those items. And... And that's the thing... Uh, about this game. You might get an item and go, yes, I've won that for so long. And find that it doesn't actually get you anything that you want. Like the armor, super great, but it's not very practical. Money is is rather important. There's a lot of places that you need to, to spend m money to get the items there. Like there's the flippers, of course. The the, the ball salesman, which I just got. Bombs, thank you. Only three. Damn it. I know how to use these guys. Uh, but anyway. Damn it. I lost. I lost my. Anyway. The armor works in conjunction with getting extra hearts. The extra hearts is, is actually what allows you to, to survive longer. But you can eat through those hearts a lot if you deal with an enemy that does a lot of damage per hit. Having the armor prevents that, but doesn't help too much against just taking a bunch of hits. So you really have to have both of them. I thought that the armor was better than getting hearts, but in the early game it's not. You want the health to deal with enemies first, and then you want to get some armor to deal with harder enemies. As you can see, I still don't really have any weapons. I can kill, so I can do Hyrule Castle. I guess I can do most of Hyrule Castle now. That's nice. Normally, I have to put off the sewers. I would really like a weapon, though. Oh, shit, I can't do this one. You know what? I can probably do it with Ether, I'd say. I don't have a sword. Okay, I've gotta come back here then. I can't use this last bomb. I don't know if you've gotta have a sword or you've gotta have um the master sword. But you can't use magic without a weapon. I don't know why it's programmed in like that, but you can't. 
My friend was saying that it might be a sprite animation problem, but... You can still do that animation without a sword, just a bit janky. There's nothing in here, right? Shop. I'm always d disappointed every time I walk in there. I've got to stop walking in there. So I have to open this guy up, not because it has a chest in it, but because it has bombs in it. And I really need bombs to continue. And yes, bombs do count as a weapon, so I can get through Hyvo Castle with bombs, but, but it really doesn't feel good. So I've only found three bombs so far. That had four bombs in it. I usually never have to go in there more than once. In fact, I usually never have to go in there at all, but I'm really limited by the amount of bombs I have, so I've got to... Like, without that, it might be a locked game. I can probably farm for them, but I don't really know how to, especially... Found a weapon. Only one in here. Ooh. And see, I've got a lot of good stuff, but I'm still kind of locked. I need the right combination of things in order to make my way through. Like right now, I'm just looking for something that helps me kill things. A hookshot, a hammer, ideally a sword. A bow. Would be great. The bow also allows me to get through Eastern Palace. Alright, I don't like doing this. Chicken coop lady. Damn it. Still have to do the chicken coop lady and the race mini game. Are you calling her the chicken coop lady? Yeah, I guess she would be the chicken coop lady, wouldn't she? So I only have two bombs left. But because of that spot that I opened up, I can just go back there anytime I run out of bombs. Squiddle. Money is nice if I had the flippers and the bow. In fact, if I had the flippers, I could go and upgrade my bomb pack so I wouldn't have to run out of bombs all these times. Oh right, this hack has a nice quality of life change where if you press L and R, you can change between the different items you have. I don't know why that wasn't in the original, considering L and R aren't, aren't used, so obviously it's because they had technical limitations. I'm, su I'm super rich, so this is not a problem at all for, at all for me. If you go this path, it's always 10 seconds. You might not know that there is a jump down though. Ugh, come on. If I'm really good, I can make it a 9, but... I 
I just want a weapon. Bow, hookshot, hammer, sword, something. Let's see, there's four swords, one hammer, hookshot. Like a magic rod would be pretty nice too. Problem with that is that um, it's rather expensive on the magic if you don't have a source of refilling it, which I haven't figured out how to do that. There's a lot of magic in the sewers, but I won't be able to get, I mean, I can get to the sewers, but I'd rather do the basement first. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now. It's not that I can't do things, I'd rather not do things. Oh, come on, ah! I do so much damage too, I'm on my last bit of health. Can't really dodge things in this game. Okay, the grab's gone. The best I can hope for is press the direction I want to go and hope that I get there. Ooh. That jump was not as elegant as I remember it being. Some kind of weapon. Some kind of weapon. Give me some kind of weapon. Huh. I can do Sahas for a lot. He's kind of a, a Hail Mary, but I can do him. I can't do all of Eastern Palace without the bow. But I can do most of it. Uh, there. It's often faster to just navigate over to the bomb. We're catching that. Bombs. Dash boots. Dash boots op op opens up a, a couple of things, actually. Only a couple. The huge quality of life improvement, of course. I have to remember the one grave too. I can't get to that just yet. Pandora. The book's kind of nice just to do level two. Still need the gauntlets for that, but the gauntlets are rather easy to find. You have two chances for them, so if, as long as you get one, you can rather easily get in there. I'm not gonna say no. Alright, I'm stuck now, right? Which means Hyrule Castle. Now, let me get this. I should have farmed her bombs, actually. Five items in the Hyrule Castle is kind of sketchy.
This one's actually quite loud. Wait, something? No. Shit. Oh, okay. See if I can carry this to the end. No, you can't go through doors with pots, right? It's a shame. Yeah. It's fine, I don't need all my health. So I've got to take out this guy. It's probably better just take like, these hits. Doing so many flips, just okay. Our container is nice. But it's more like a nice bonus rather than something I'm excited for. Can I even do this? Maybe I'll jump back in there if I have the sword. Alright, I've fallen into the... Some... He some Hail Marys here. This way, right? Ugh. Ugh. God, just at least give me the boomerang. There's so many boomerangs. In fact, the boomerang would s s solve all my problems. It's not perfect, but at least I can bomb things with it. Bow would be wonderful, especially since I'm dipping my toes in here. I can do the Desert Palace too. I can't discount that. So much money and nothing to use it on. Thank you. 
nothing. Okay, I guess I can... I can do the, the Desert Palace now. Oh, I can go into Death Mountain, which is great. Death Mountain usually has a lot of items, but I can't get most of them without either the hammer or the hookshot. I can get up to the Tower of Hera, at least. Again, can't complete it. Don't want to mess this one up. Yeah. Luckily, those guys are pretty predictable in the way that they move. Just the fact that they that they t t t turn their heads before they move make it makes it so much easier. for a key in a pot here. Ooh, magic, finally. Health lets us tank through these two guys, because I've got no other way to deal with them. That one I could have just gone around, but I already resigned myself to the fact that I would be hit. Okay, well, this isn't happening. Let's try the Desert Palace. Heesh, I've never had this bad of a luck. I usually have by now something that allows me to kill things. Just need one thing. A hammer, a bow, a hookshot, a boomerang, a sword. A magic wand would be great. Got nothing. I think it's not until the upper reaches of this dungeon that you actually need to kill anything. Ah. I forgot about the sand monsters. That's not the book. quite a few items in here that you don't need to kill anything to get. I think I mentioned that before. Yeah? Is there really nothing I can do to, to, to get across that thing? Ugh. You can't 100% complete this dungeon without the dash boots, but you do need the dash boots for that one item. Big key? Still don't have a small key, so I have to go left. allows me to get the other half of this floor. That's a trap, don't go there. And down below this is an exit back to the
Uh, desert. Forgot that you needed to kill those guys. I'm okay being swordless, but weaponless is t terrible. You know what? There's some fairies up here. I have a bug catcher's net, so. Uh, Shovel, not terrible. There are a couple of items that are basically just to get other items. So at least it's like lowering your bad luck. Down here. And I can get the flippers. I'm kind of hell marrying right now, so. May as well try for that. Did I complete it? Eh. I've gotten on quite a few items by now, so I can do a couple more checks. It's not great. Try so got the Okay. Still kind of low on bombs. Uh. I can go back now. Does that count as a weapon? It's kind of nice, but I can't really take advantage of it. This is a key door, yeah. I need the ability to kill it. Oh, I should have just mirrored. This is much lower. So the problem with doing the flippers is that you need the flippers to get a lot of items over here. And if you're going all this way anyway, you may as well make it one step. I hate these crabs. They do so much damage and they're so unpredictable. The cape's nice. Not a weapon, but it's nice. At worst, it gets me one check. It's also nice against boss fights. 
You can also use it in lieu of the mirror shield to get some chests in Turtle Rock. I never ha have the mirror shield by the time I get to, to Turtle Rock, so I have to take advantage of that. If I could get get rid of things from the randomizer, I would get rid of the arrows, except for, for the single arrow, of course. Single arrow is awesome. And the 20 rubies. Maybe the 5 rubies. You get more th th than enough money with the 300 rubies. Um, but the 20 rupees are more spread out, allowing you to at least do some stuff. At, at worst, this will unlock a uh, warp for me. I feel like it's something eventually, though. Jeez. Thank you! Okay, I'm in business now. Uh, I'd better go back. I'd better be in business down here. Still can't beat bosses, though. The fire rod doesn't work against most bosses. I think this one's a low one. Ten arrows, wonderful. Always nice to have arrows I can't use. I'll go down this way. There's nothing else in the other spot, so... Doesn't really matter which way you go out. Ugh. I forgot about that. Bombs? Well, it's kind of nice. So I do have the book, uh, the book of Medora. I can go left, but I don't have the Master Sword, so I can't do anything with it. Please? 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 Uh, please? Oh. I don't love that. Just so many sword upgrades that you'd expect to find one by now. Or again, the hammer, or the hookshot, or the boomerang. Something free.
Thank God I can do this one. Most times I come here. I don't have the ability to set fires. Yes. Can I not do this? Because I don't think if they take damage. Crap. You can kill two of them and bomb one of them. Can't down him with bombs? Alright. Can't go any further then. Come on. Well, what else can I do? Try the sewers again? Now that I have a way of damaging things? Those have any keys. Oh, out of magic already. Shouldn't have saved. We've got to take a look at the overworld. I can do the more dolo okay, That that's got a lot of good stuff in it. But I need m magic. God, what's a consistent place to get magic? Try with bombs, I guess, but that requires. No. Didn't know I could break stuff. Can I buy magic? And yeah, that's the problem with magic stuff in this game in general. You just don't have the magic to be using them. Like, they give you the magic if you need it, but... It kind of makes stuff like the magic wands useless. You just use them a couple of times and you run out, and then you have no magic. And when you need magic, you don't have any. If they're generous, they'll give you magic. Alright, but I'm here for the bombs. Nothing. Alright. I've gone through all the, the Hail Marys. I, I, I know at this point. Heesh, how is this possible?
It's gotta be that, that there's something good in the Moidola cave, and I just didn't see it. I just couldn't get it. Because I was working the, the, under the assumption I need weapons for it, and I don't have any weapons. I do, of course, have a magic wand now, and no magic. Come on. Come on. shot. You know what? Worth it. Yes. Okay, give me something. Okay, no burner. More bombs. Hook shot, thank you! Oh, great. Okay. So that helps, but I still can't get through. I can get through the Hyrule Castle sewers now. Okay. God, just trying to get through those sewers. I still need a way to... Uh, I need a way to do everything. Oh wait, hook shot. That means I can get into dark. No, not dark death mountain, but yeah, I can actually explore death mountain now. That's what I need. Come on. Get accidentally owned on. Okay, that allows me to get through the spot over here. Should be a cave in here. Uh, chest, I mean. Okay. Great. Mountain cave. There's no dodging those things, honestly. Those were put into the game for the express purpose of damaging you. Not giving you something to dodge, damaging you. Alright, there's two ways up. This is really tedious. the shop. First of all. Is this the only path that actually goes anywhere? Hammer! Alright, I'm in business. Finally in business. Why do I just use this?
Yeah, this place is heaven in a randomizer. <laughs> Giving me a shield and no sword? Come on! Cannot be angry about... Not having a weapon now, though. I mean, I can. The high one, because the low one is where you warp to from Turtle Rock. Luckily, the hookshot is a strong enough weapon to one-shot a lot of really annoying enemies. Everything else can be dealt with with the hammer. Excuse me. Nice. Unnecessary, but nice. Don't have any magic. I'm looking at my magic because I'm thinking about the spike cave. I think I can do it now. I just need some form of inv invincibility and some form... Uh, and the hammer. And I think you can do it with just... The... Power Glove. You don't necessarily need the Titan's Mitts. And if I'm here anyway, I'd like to... Oh wait, I'm getting a magic refill from doing this boss. Okay. I think I, I can get it. What's this boss give? Crystal. I do need all the crystals. I don't need all the pendants. I want to get all the pendants, but... You know. So much better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Magic. Hmm. You know what? I want this like this. This song was a good choice for this dungeon, especially my first time through. So I do have a form of invincibility, but I can't utilize that because um, I can't use that and a weapon at the same time. If I had a sword, I could, but I don't have a sword. <laughs> this boss is super annoying. So back off, wait until you can see a pattern, and go for it. Then... go for it. Okay. See? 
He's got the animation, he just doesn't have a sword. Now that I have that magic refill... I can't say with confidence that this is going to work. Does work. Okay. Wow. Okay, so I'm in such a good position right now. In fact, I shouldn't have done that. Let me see. I'm glad I learned that you can do that early. I thought for sure you'd need the Titan's Mitts. Uh, hookshot. You know what, I think you need to come up. So let's go ahead and try this out. I can never remember which one's which. I think it changes depending on if you're in the light or dark world. Yeah, okay. You need to go up to get these chests. Death Mountain is like the biggest place in the game to get good stuff. At this point, I don't even care if I, if I never see a sword upgrade. It's just to make things a little bit easier on me and to get a couple of checks. I was honestly checking to see if I could do Turtle Rock. Okay, I don't have the Ice Rod, so I can't complete it. If I can't complete something, I'd rather not do it. Obviously not, obviously not always practical, as we've seen. I always get the magic boomerang before I get the n normal boomerang for some reason. Haha, <laughs> check me out. If you don't know, there's a pit in the middle there, and you're supposed to go right there. Uh, the walls that I'm not bombing up just go to fairies, and I'm all fairied out right now. Once again, I could go to Turtle Rock. Not much benefit in that. Yeah. Let's call this done. And let's do the Desert Palace. A sword would be great for that. But I don't have one. So I'll just see what I can get from it. It's a pendant, so it's not super necessary. We'll have to go back to Palace of Darkness sometime. What I tend to like doing is doing uh, the Dark World Palace of Darkness and then doing the Light World Palace of Darkness. But you know what? I'm actually in a pretty good spot to do. Oh no, that's a terrible idea. I, don't, st I still don't have a sword. I was about to say I can do a couple of. 
the Dark World dungeon, but doing that without even a sword is going to be... Re like, the bosses, I just don't know how, how I would manage that. If I had a bow, I could do it. I guess after this, I'll go ahead and, and stop this video and uh, go through a, a Dark World Pass. Should be able to do most stuff in the dark world. Even do some dungeons if I have to. Again, doing them without the sword is kind of sketch, but possible. Here we go. That's so easy when you just have a weapon. I was about to be scared for, there for, for a minute, but you don't need to kill this guy. You cannot kill him without the bow, but he's, it's not necessary to kill him. It is in Eastern Palace, not here. Alright, good thing I have fairies. It's like a whack-a-mole. Luckily, there's a ton of damage. This is humiliating, oh my god. Yes. Fairy, don't worry. <sighs> Come on. Just, just, just. Uh. Oh my god, he was one hit away from death all this time. Compass. Pendant. Alright, that's all I can do with the light world. I even stepped foot into the dark world for, for, for a bit, so even that's a bit of a lie. But yeah, next up is the Dark World. Let's see what all I can do there. <sighs> see you guys later.